you will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient, pitted cobbles of the old road. And on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Yeah, there was nothing I could really do about the sound until you actually get into the game and turn it down itself. So, I apologize. <clears throat> Alright, so, not anything. Oh. There's no, like, options menu at the very beginning of the game. I still need to beast through this, that way I can play Darkest Dungeon 2. I've watched a lot of Darkest Dungeon 2 just because I love this game, and I, I, I know pretty much how this game runs and what I need to do. There are a lot of mods that I installed um, for this version. Um, there's a couple extra expansions, not, so we'll see what happens. My mic's turned up pretty high, so... You can hear me better, yes? Okay, cool. It might be because I'm just sitting not as close that I, as I usually am. Hang on, let me unplug this. That doesn't need to be plugged in. Uh... Yeah, because I'm looking at my volumes, and the volumes are all exactly where they're supposed to be on the audio mixer, so... Let me take this... Oops, hang on. I need to grab my video. Capture folder on this one. I need that... Probably up here. For now. And... Yeah, chat can just stay here. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. 
the hamlet is just ahead. And if at any point it sounds like something's a little bit too low, or I'm too low, or you know, throughout, just please, please, please let me know. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. So, all of the, the enemies in this game, um, your characters can die. Perfect. Right? Um, it's just a side-scrolling dungeon crawler. Uh, it, it, it goes by each time you complete a dungeon. Uh, what it means it means. Uh, you have to take items and stuff down in the dungeon, so you can get more characters. Um, and I figured as we play the game, we just want to get characters to really jump in the chat. Uh, Put items, put, uh, artifacts, relics. Uh, expansions that I have on here are Crimson Court, uh, Color of Madness, and I put Summer Isles on here as well. Summer Isles is a community made stuff. Um, with, um, I added in a whole bunch of extra characters that you can pick up. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Pick up the gold, and it goes in your head. You just keep going. Push back to the map. So, um... You can see that there's a torch up top. And right now it's like 77. So yeah, 76 out of 100. Um, as it gets darker, um, your dodge will go down, your scouting will go down, the monster's surprise abilities will, will go up. But, as it gets darker, you can also find better and more lucrative treasure and items. So it's kind of a risk first reward thing. Do you want to go through the dungeon with no torches on? Do you want to snuff out your torch? Do you want to just uh, use a campfire to light your torches and stuff like that? It's, it's, it, we'll learn as we play. But um, for now, it's just a side-scrolling game, and once, once the, the game develops, then I'll be able to explain things um, a little bit easier. So, over here, there's a tent. But right now, uh, someone has camped here recently. We can check inside the tent with either Reynald or Dismas. So, we have a dodge of 17 with him, we have a dodge of 12 with him. Let's go with... let's go with Dismas. inside. If only treasure could gold. staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Okay, that's gonna go away. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. I like the narrator without the subtitles. Uh, so yeah. Keep going. Each character has different special abilities. Um, you can see when you get back to camp, 
Some have uh, down here, you know, you can increase their dodge, their protection, their speed, their damage ratings, their, their accuracy with the weapons and everything that you upgrade and eventually put into the little item slots. Um, yeah, pretty much it for now. One here. Open the map back up. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Alright, so, this gentleman right here, the Brigand Bloodletter. So, if I were to use Dismas's Open Vein ability on the Brigand Bloodletter, this dude has a 20% protection against bleed. Right? Um, will I be able to hit him? He also has dodge of zero, so he really can't fucking do anything to, to block it. Fusilier uh, has a 20% chance against it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and try to bleed him because he doesn't. Less. He can grape shot less. Okay, both of them. There you go. Now they're both debuffed. Is broken. Found Maintain Jay, the offensive. And a thousand gold. So, different items that you pick up um, help you build up the, the encampment that you're at, um, allow you, allowing you to gain access to your estate later on. So, you'll see once we get to the actual map. Uh, we're not going to return to him. We're going to continue adventuring. We're going to see if we can't open this chest. Over. And it's trapped chest. Something doesn't look quite right. No. What if we go here? Yep, it's trapped. Okay. He resisted the blight. That's fine. Must complete. They, once you meet the parameters. This was like dogs. Alright. Once you meet the parameters of whatever the dungeon is, it will give you the option to continue or to, to leave. Um. Sometimes I don't leave. I'm just like, okay, cool. Let's get out of here. We don't have, uh, we don't have enough stuff to do, or we have, uh, we don't have anything else like to explore or anything. Oftentimes I'll be like, all right, let's go explore and see what we can see. And it's, it all depends on what's on the map. At the end of each map, it's going to tell you you're going to open this, and it's going to tell you whether or not you've gained a perk or a quirk, um, or a debuff, basically. So we got plus two resolve, which is your experience. Open 
that, he's got Ruins Explorer. Ruins Explorer plus 10% scouting chance in the Ruins. Abysmus got Live, plus 20% to dodge. That's fantastic. He got some extra 20% to dodge, naturally. Um, you can have up to, I believe, four or five. I think it's four. Um, um, positive perks and up to four negative perks. If it's too long that you keep these perks on them, sometimes they will get solidified on that character, and then you'll have to pay extra money to remove them or, or have them treated. Uh, yeah, that, that's how kind of how you build your characters uh, for certain areas, certain scenarios. So we'll go ahead and return to town for now. Back to the hamlet. I'm sorry. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. All right, Deus Ex Machina. This sinister mercenary seems more machine than man. She offers her advanced equipment and unique physiology to our cause. Okay. We're going to take this person. Put them A marvel of technology. An engine of destruction. This is our one of our menus. Um, the caretaker's goals. It shows you all the quests and everything that you have to do in this game. It's a lot. Uh, week one, which we just finished, uh, town event Deus Ex Machina, and this is what we completed during week one. So, Renault and Dismas successfully escorted me to the hamlet, and uh, yeah, there we go. That's it. So now we have a bunch of stuff that we can click on that we don't have access to yet. Is the, is the music still trumping right now? Or is it kind of like subdued in the background? Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. So the graveyard shows all your permadead characters. It's still fairly loud, but manageable. Really? I don't... I don't like it is... Oh, you know what? I think I know why. You know what, we're gonna... Hang on. How's that? Is that better? Because I think the problem that we had was that I had my headset... It can go a little louder. The only reason why is because I had my headset turned down, like, way low, and I didn't realize it. That's what was throwing throwing everything off, so I apologize. Alright, yes. We'll save those changes. Alright. Graveyard. Permadead characters. This is where they show up. We're gonna try our best not to have permadead characters. Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the Earth. All right, the Nomad Wagon, um, she sells a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, you can come over here and you can upgrade things with like your shields, your your land deeds that you get, your portraits, um, statues. Um, those are just like relics and things that you can turn in and, and, and buy, buy things. So, all right. Uh, the Ancestor's Memoirs. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. So, since y'all didn't see the prologue, I'm going to play the prologue for y'all. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient rumor shadowed manner fattened by decadence and luxury and yet i began to tire of conventional extravagance 
Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I've bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long-buried secrets. Exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. <laughs> It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. There you go. They unearthed us something beneath the mansion. Old dude. Uh, took care of himself because he couldn't uh, deal with his deal with himself and he basically dumped all of his fucking problems onto you so now you're here cleaning up his fucking mess that's it in a nutshell stagecoach women and men soldiers and outlaws fools and corpses all will find their way to us now that the road is clear so the stagecoach comes every week, and it has um, just people that show up, and they're just like, yeah, you can take them, and you can add them to your roster if you want to. Um, so we'll grab this Plague Doctor Hugh. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? And the Vestal. The Vestal is basically our healer. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. And then the stagecoach, you can also upgrade. Um, so you can do the network, where it increases the number of recruits that are available for hire. The barracks increase the size of the hero roster. And experienced recruits provides a chance of higher level recruits appearing in the stagecoach. So the highest level of a character that you can have is six. Um, however, sometimes you can't, you don't want all your characters to get to level six because some quests you can't get or you can't do unless you have like level zeros, level ones, level twos, level threes, such and such. Um, they'll be they will either say it's too much for them or they are above it. So you have to have a nice balance of of, of people in your roster. Sometimes you got to cycle people out. Sometimes you got to get rid of them and send them back on their way. Oh yeah, the art for this game is fantastic. I, that's what drew it to me in the first place was the art and all the like the the the, the community for this. That have added characters and abilities and things like that. You know, they stay with the they stay with the the art style, and it's it's they've done an amazing job. I love this game. It see it does get repetitive after a while, but that's not a bet necessarily a bad thing. It's just like the dungeons get repetitive because you're trying to get certain trinkets. Um, you're trying to to build up your your little town. You'll see. Um, there's bosses that you can fight, which are really cool. Uh, it's in it, it's a puzzle game. You got to figure out. Um hey, should I have this person attack? Should I have them hold off? You know, can I rotate the enemy's side of the map somehow and, and pull one enemy forward or push another enemy back so that way they can't attack this person? And it's it gets nuts. It gets really nuts. Um, wait until the Crimson Court comes into play, and the Crimson Court um, definitely throws a wrench into everything, um, adding bloodlust to your characters and stuff. It's, it's, it, we'll talk about it later. All right. So, anyways, right now we can't really do too much with this. So... We're going to go ahead and go embark on another adventure. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. All right, so we're going to take our Vestal, put her down there, and we're going to take our Plague Doctor and put him down there. However, before we do that...
Rename. There we go. Hey. Oh. There you go. Our Vestal is now Panda. Um... go. What abilities does she have? She currently has Mace Bash, which she can only use in the first two slots. Uh, Dazzling Light, which uh, stuns... It's got a 100% chance to stun at its base, so as long as the character is less than 100, it'll always stun it. Um, or, excuse me. D depending... It'll offset. So if the, if the enemy has a 50% chance to resist it, then you've only got a 50% chance to hit. So they just detract from each other. Uh, she does have Divine Grace, which is a healing ability, 4 or 5 for everybody. Uh, and Hand of Light, plus 15 damage against Unholy. Uh, what are her quirks? She has Psychotic, plus 25 damage if afflicted, and Thick Blooded, or Thick Blooded, plus 10% Blight Resistance. However, she has minus 10% damage if her hit points are below 50%. Not a bad perk if you can keep them, you know... Keep, keep them healed. Let's see. Our Plague Doctor. Whoops. There we go. Our Plague Doctor Hugh. Let's go ahead and rename him. Who else do we got in here? Oh, hey! What's going on, Carly? Let's go with... Invex. There you go, Dylan. Quick-witted. He's got plus 2 speed if in position 2, plus 5% crit if, in, if in position 2. I will never put him in position 2. So, we're going to end up getting rid of that at some point. Phasmophobia. <laughs> plus 20% stress if any yokai monsters are alive. Alright. So, he is not going to be somebody that we're going to want to take with us when we do the Sunward Isles. Or if there's any, you know, yokai in, in the mix anywhere. Because they can be. He's got Plague Grenade, that's good, uses per battle, so he can use both of these from the back row, which is why I put him in the back row, and these will both hit the enemies in their back row. Um, he's got uh, Emboldening Vapors, so it will give the target plus 20% damage and plus 3 speed. And Disorienting Blast, so it'll shuffle a single enemy, and it'll stun at a 100% base, and it clears all corpses, which is good. So, um, whenever you kill an enemy, sometimes a corpse will be left there. If it's not a crit hit. And um, it'll kind of like block some of your attacks. Or it might hinder the enemy from advancing forward. So that's actually pretty good. Um, I have not seen... Who is this? He's a salamander. Okay, I have never played with a salamander before. So we will wait until we start rotating through some other stuff. Warren's Tactician. Hard takedown. Warren's Tactician. Plus 15 damage in the Warren's. Warren's is a, a specific portion of the map. Uh, plus 15% death blow resist while marked. So death blow is that insta death that I was talking about. Once you hit um, once you hit a stress level of 200, so he has a 15% death blow resist. Hylomania, obsessed with material things. Okay, so basically they're the ones that are you don't want them in your party if you're actually going out trying to get items and and, and money and gold. So, all right, we have two quests available to us, but we've also got the darkest dungeon. Now, some text is about to pop up as soon as I click this. I can't. I won't. I wouldn't last a minute. So these will tell you that they're, they're just little pop-ups that are just like, yo, hey, you have somebody in your party who's probably not leveled. You might want to swap this person out. So it's a nice little safety bumper. But we can choose one of these, and then they'll be like, yeah, yeah, send me out again. Let's go. Um, this is a scouting mission. So... The goal is to explore 90% of the rooms, and then you've got another short expedition, which is complete 100% of room battles. And by looking at the icons, you can basically tell, okay, this is an exploration, this is a battle one. There will be other variants of other things. Like when you're trying to get trinkets, and there will be different levels to the, um, the, the, the maps also level up. So, it's gonna be fun. Down here in the farmstead, uh, this is different. Um, this is this is DLC, and over here in the Sunward Isles, this is DLC. 
we can't really buy any new gear or anything, so we're just going to hop into the next uh, next portion of this, which is your provisions. The cost of preparedness measured now in gold, later in blood. So later on, uh, or when you go in, before you go into the map, it allows you the opportunity to buy items to take with you on your on your expedition. So um, you're gonna want to take rations because there are hunger checks. You will need to stop and eat and replenish your health. So so four is good. Eight is better. We can take two shovels. Shovels are used for clearing obstacles. Um, Keys are used for, obviously, unlocking strong boxes. We can take one... Uh, let's take two keys. A holy water is for use on an altar. We don't need laudanum right now. We don't have anybody with um, with too high stress. Torches. We use torches to keep the light up, so that way it'll um, we can get... Um, basically, surprise attacks. Um, it, basically, our entire team rolls initiative first against the enemy. So, I usually like to take... Eight while we're on a normal expedition. Um, we already have two holy waters. Can I put one away? Yeah, put one away. Uh, we will take two bandages. Well, we'll take three bandages in case we have to stop bleeding. So. And I think that's going to be our little... Oh, we'll take one antidote. Just in case... Oh, wait, we already had one. Oops. We'll take an antidote just in case we need to use it to, to, to put it on, on certain little curios. Um, throughout the map, there's little curios that you can find, and you have to activate them. Sometimes they have good perks, sometimes they have bad perks, depending on what you do with them. And there's always a percentage um, on whether or not it's going to, to work or fail. So, I think this is going to be our team, so we'll go ahead and head on out. Ruins bear all the signs of your... The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Now, as you can see down here on the map, you can zoom in, zoom out, whatever. Um, but this shows... This shows where you need to go on your map. It doesn't... Sh Eventually you get a scouting chance, and a scouting chance will show you what rooms are boss rooms, what rooms are monster rooms, what rooms have treasure in them. So, we'll just keep going. All right, move to the bottom. All right, we come across a curio. This highlighted. Uh, we can click on it, and it'll say, you know, would you like to use an item on it? So you can either chance it, or you can use an item on it. Let's go ahead and use a anti-venom on it. No, we would have to have used herbs on it. We'll use a torch on it. Torch oil helps create a power. Radiance, system. may we find victory. There you go. It basically relit our torch. No big deal. Nothing spectacular. Don't if you see piles of books, don't worry about the books. Leave the books alone. They're a waste. Ah oh, shit. This is part of the the Ghostbuster, the Paracausalist. Um, it's part of the Paracausalist's uh, exp uh, expansion that is community-made. So, let's see if we can go ahead and stun one of our enemies in the back row. Nope, you resisted. Alright, um... Stun 80%, 80%, 80%, so it's not... And now you can see, like, at the, at the bottom of the map, like, down in here, okay? Whenever I mouse over somebody... At the very bottom left, it'll say their stun percentage, their blight percentage, yada yada yada. So. Alright, we'll go ahead and... Dazzling Lights... This one. Did one damage. Still resisted. You just buffed this one. So it has a plus 20% protection modifier, and it's got a whole bunch of other modifiers. We may not survive this fight. How many hit points do these guys have? 15, 15, 14. All right. Oh, what's their bleed resist? They have 80% on bleed. We'll go ahead and do... Grape Shot Blast. Hit all of them. Okay. 
Okay, they're both dodged it. Zealous accusation. We'll hit both of them in the front row. Just put Aegis on. So Aegis can block damage. And now it just shuffled everybody and put some extra stress above them. Okay. Let's add some speed to him. Pistol shot. This guy's our problem. Therefore, we want to get rid of him. Broken. Maintain the offensive. Now the ghosts can come back to life. So you have to be very careful. Rinald, he can't do anything, so we're gonna try to shuffle him to the front row. There you go. Okay. More pistol shot. Confidence there you go. surges as the nice. enemy crumbles. Up damage. Do. We want to try to smite them, but it's going to negate all that damage. So he got blocked, but now his Aegis is gone. His shield is gone. Let's try to heal. Let's keep our healer in check. There you go. Ectomorphic resurgence. So it's going to come back as another ghost. He's only got six hit points, so we can hit him. Get rid of him. Look at that. Cleansed from our lands. Okay. Uh, we got another heal check, so let's go ahead and heal business. Good dodge, good dodge. We're gonna try to swap, get him into the back row, and hopefully, there we go. Give them no Victory! Quarter. We found a journal page. Two journal pages in holy water. What is this? We'll just take all. Um, research notes. Real engine prototype activation. The ODIC capacitor recovered during Professor Brandt's expedition has opened up numerous avenues for further exploration of the Vril. Activation of the new engine prototype has resulted in a fully corporeal paracausal manifestation. What it did to young Jenkins was unfortunate. Such entities are an unavoidable hazard of our particular profession. Unavoidable, perhaps, until now. With the new engine, we may finally have the means to neutralize this danger. That is note one of three. The artifact. After months of failure, I finally had a breakthrough in the writings relating to the artifact recovered by Professor Brandt's latest expedition. The language is still so alien that it defies direct translation, but I'm convinced the relic is a focusing instrument for the Vril. The artifact has previously remained inert throughout all testing, but I know, now know the correct means to activate it. I go to the surgeons now. By our mantra, I will have the answers we have sought for so long. Energy and persistence conquer all things. What's up, Bandit? You okay, buddy? Killing? Alright, uh, we're gonna... Well, we don't want to do that. We want to fucking... Whoops. Okay, go back to the map. Should be able to reshuffle everybody. Nope. There should be a button that I can just... I should just be able to get everybody back to where they were. I can't remember what button it is, but it just, like, auto-does. Oh, I need to pet him? Okay. Good boy. There you go. Bandit got his pets. Alright, moving on. Oops. Bandit. Alright. So this guy over here. Oh, here. Okay. You guys can't oh, you guys can't see my mouse. Hang on. Uh oh. Properties. 
Okay. Okay, it's not showing my mouse. Damn, okay. So this guy in the last row on the um, on the enemy team, he does a lot of stress damage. So he's gonna, him and the, the, the Bobola lady right here, uh, the third one in the third row, ran out of chew, rip. <laughs> Uh, the last two enemies, we're going to want to get rid of them fast. And the guy with the giant claws, he, uh, this guy right here, he, uh, he inflicts bleed. So we need to, we need to get rid of a lot of these people really fast, so... Thank you, Carly. I appreciate it. Oh, he dodged. I appreciate it, Carly. Thank you. Alright, we stunned him out and we shuffled. So that's good. Dazzling light. Why did that not show on? No, it's fine. A subscription is not... Uh, actually, I think you already were. I think you had a gift sub earlier. Yeah. Come on. Now, that's going to be like 20... 15. 15 stress on him. So he's already at... Oh. Fucking Eldritch. Um... I think these guys can take Blight. Yeah, Blight's good for these guys. Let's put Blight on her. There you go. Grape Shot Blast. Alright, we got rid of one. Spot. That's good. Destroy them all. Alright, dodge the bleed to have attack. That's good. Dead weight. That's a heavy hit. Are you stunned? Yep. Okay, so our healer is stunned right now. But it's now our turn. It's the top of the turn. We're alright. Um... Do stunning blow again. Just because it's a multi-hit. See if we can't use Dismiss to uh Can we stun this one? Let's see, what's your stun percentage? 25%? Let's see if we can stun. Yes! Grape shot blast. Hmm, yeah. Now you can see that body was removed, and this, uh, the, the, the Boobala demon, she moved from the back, back slot to the, the next one. Yeah, you're a plague doctor. You must have been out of here for a second when I named some of my characters. Alright, Dazzling Light, let's go ahead and... You know what? No, we're just gonna go for the, go for the win. As the fiend no. falls... And it's stunned so they don't get to make their action. This one will probably put bleed on me. Nope. Dodged again. Fuck yeah. We're getting lucky, guys. I tell you what. Come on. Do we get Dismiss? Yep, we get Dismiss. Let's do a pistol shot, which has a 73% chance to hit. And they should die their next turn with Blight. Um... Clear all corpses. Yeah, we'll clear all corpses just so that way it moves forward and we can we can at least use one of our other characters to, to hit them straight out the gate. Oh. But there you go. Blight killed it. Alright, what do we get? We got an occultist. Alright, Eldritch killing incense. So that's a, a trinket that they can equip. We got some citrine. We got some jade. We're going to take that. And we have a chest here. It is a locked sarcophagus. So we're going to take one of our keys... And then we're going to see if we can open it. 17, 1,750 monies. Absolutely taking that. Excellent. Cool. Switch back to... Oh, th here it is. Default party order. Go here. All right, give me a second. I'm going to go use the bathroom, and I will be right back. One second.
I need to do? Here. Alright. Moving on to the next room. Now, do we want to go left or do we want to go right? The choice is yours. Wanna go right? Alright, we'll go right. Uh-oh. Bookshelf. Ignore. Ignore the bookshelves. We don't care about books. And you can see that the, the background is changing. Oh! There's a trap that we didn't see. But she dodged it. So you can see that the, the room is getting progressively darker. So, we're going to torch up before we go into this next room. Hopefully we can surprise the enemy if they're in there. I hate ghosts when I don't have my fucking ectomorphic Karakoslis dude. But that's okay. They can't bleed. But they can be blighted. That's good to know. We'll do a Grape Shot Blast to hit both of them. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and use Dazzling Light to st Well, yeah. You know what? No. We have a free turn. Let's go ahead and heal. Uh, you're at 27 to 33. You're at 19 to 24. You're gonna take it. Oh. Right, let's go ahead and... Buff damage and speed of... Business. And we're going to use Zealous Accusation because it's going to hit both of them in the front row. And we crit. Nice. So anytime you crit... Anytime you crit, you have a chance to regain some... some or to heal some of your, uh, your stress. If open Vein. It's not going to do too much damage. We have a 95% chance to hit, and it's going to do 5 to 7 damage. Or 5 to 10 damage. Precision and power. There you go. Hell yeah. Success so clearly in view. Alright. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Now, do we want to go right or do we want to go down? Because we only need to explore one room here, but we'll need to explore both rooms on the opposite side. So, Or we can hit both rooms here. I leave it up to you. No, you were the first person to say something, so. Uh, hang on, what's your scouting? Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, we want to be you. Oh, hey, by the way, what software are you using to stream to Twitch? Uh, OBS. <sighs> More damn ghosts. I hate the damn ghosts. All right. Grape Shot Blast. Oh, they got 18 hit points apiece. We gotta work fast. I've never seen these guys before. Dazzling Light. And it stunned them. Nice. Alright, let's, uh... Let's buff Dismiss. Zealous Accusation. Okay, stun took away his uh, his attack. That's good. Grape shot blast on them again. They are both close to being very dead. So. It might not stun them, but warped brawl. What the hell is that? Clarified in a single strike. Cool. Lots of stress. Lots of stress. Ellis accusation again should kill both of them. Should. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and 
What's your what's your protection against stun? 80%. We'll do a, we'll go ahead and do another heal. And I think I just want to do a straight-up pistol shot for this one. Got some As onyx. Victories mount, so the journal too will resistance. All right, a snippet from the Journal of a Doomed Expedition. Day four. We confirm the existence of the rift at the dig site. Paracausal energy readings were at the highest we've yet encountered. We could very well be on the verge of a fourfold cross rip. Scopes have also confirmed presence of paracausal entities beyond the range of standard visual detection. They attain corporeal, corporeality in the absence of light. We lost several men when the electrical illumination failed. It is time for the torches. I love the fact that there's like a little story incorporated with everything. Keep going. Alright, we have an Iron Maiden. Let's go ahead and use a... Can we use a bandage? Do we use that item had no effect. Alright, do we use a shovel? No. Let's just open it. The hero inhales fall vapors. Oh good. Tetanus! Oh good. Minus five accuracy, minus five crit. So when we get back, we'll probably have to treat that if we're allowed to. Backpack. Already been looted. Uh, I think we're gonna torch up again. Enemies in a chest. Alright. Grapeshot blast. Now they all only have two hit points left. Move forward, healed for two. Tetanus, no fun. Uh, emboldening vapors should be able to offset his uh, his tetanus a little bit. Go ahead and heal. Oh, now he's going to start healing his buddies. All right. Zealous accusation missed. Come on. Can they be... Yeah, they can be blighted. Might as well. Alright. Grape shot blast again. Got rid of two of them. And let's go for a dazzling light. Victory! Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. This, uh, heirloom chest. So we could do this to open the, we can just open the chest or we can use a key to open a false bottom, I believe. Eight crest sigils, take all and the money. All right, back to the map. We are still in default party order, so we're good here. So now we have to go back to this room. And no, no enemies usually pop up in the areas that you've already cleared, but it can. And because you're going back through a room that you've already cleared and spending extra time somewhere you don't need to, you're going to incur more stress. Go off to the right. Like this. Contents are ours. Thousand monies. Hell yeah. Ah! Watch eight, your step. Eight damage. At least he's not bleeding. But he did take stress. Hunger. See, this is a hunger check. The exertions of adventuring have produced a growing hunger amongst the party. If you don't have any food in your inventory, everybody will take a severe amount of stress. So, do that. Be good. Gonna torch up real quick before we go inside. Hopefully there's nothing here. Yep, there's nothing here. Cool. Now, we just have to go back the way we came. Remember, we only need to explore 90% of the rooms. So we just have to explore one more room that we haven't been to yet. You will experience stress over time for a while. Another hunger check. 
All right, now we may incur a bunch of stress before we get to our next room. And what's this? Decorative urn. Let's see if we can use some holy water. Valuables. All right. Take all. We don't have enough room, so we can have to choose what we want to carry. Let's go ahead and torch up. The light. The promise of safety. And now that we don't have any more, you know, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna swap this with the torch because we won't really need it anymore. Let's go ahead and close this out and continue on. Spiders. At least they were surprised. That's going to give us a good opportunity. They're very low, uh, low hit points, but they do have very high um, dodge. They got a dodge of 15. So, dazzling lights. We're going to try to get on this one. Okay, we stunned them out. Cool. The path is clear. Grape shot blast. Only the it, strength to it's probably going to miss two of them. Oh, it hit all of them. Nice. All right. Uh, plague grenade, four points for three rounds. Or blinding gas. See, he doesn't do damages; he does debuffs. But he's one of your starting characters you have to take with yourself with, with at all times, anyway. So, let's go ahead and do this, and it just pulled him forward. Jealous accusation. The second, the one in the back might miss. Yeah, I missed both of them. Their dodge is really high. Good job, Dismas. Then our main heavy hitter is stunned out. Let's see if we can embolden vapors on mm, blinding gas. We'll do blinding gas. Let's see if he gets stunned out. Yep. Uh, let's go ahead and heal up. I'm surprised she's doing so well with her heals. Usually it's like one or two. Uh, grape Shot Blast again, since we have everybody in range. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. The torch... Salvage the unburned torch. Wealth beyond measure. And you can use it straight from the, to the, brave from the area. You don't have to put it in your brain. Alright, this is gonna be fun. They're all surprised, which is good. Alright. Uh, first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna stun her out. Miss both of them. Grape shot blast. They're all debuffed. Dazzling lights. We're going to try to dazzle lights on this one. It's probably going to miss, but yeah, you resisted. Zealous accusation. We are not doing good. Not doing good. We're going to get some stress here. 15 stress. Right, dodge the bleed. He's going to put up the Aegis. Nope. Okay. There we go. All right. Let's try and stun her out again. She's only got a stun of 25%, so... Cool. Both of them got stunned. Fantastic. Grape Shot Blast again. Or, you know what? We're going to... Hang on. Pistol Shot would be a 73% chance to hit 5 to 9 damage. No, oh, 5... Two real important ones got stunned out too early. Rebel Asshole Panda. Alright, uh, Dazzling Light again. 25% uh, to stun. Well struck. Three for three. Hell yeah. Well done, Panda. Right. You know what? We're just going to try to smite him straight out. There you go. Fantastic. Oh, they acquired horror. That's not good. We need to get rid of these people as fast as possible. Stun, clear corpses. Stun 80%, 80%. Put 
What about a plague grenade? We'll use plague. Put the light on them so that way they slowly take damage over time. Such a terrible and assault cannot be left unanswered. So you can see how it's kind of a puzzle, how it keeps moving your people. Some now all of a sudden he has access to none of his abilities. So he needs to move forward. And she needs to heal. Uh, she doesn't need to heal. She's going to try to stun out. It's only one damage, but she's, she's going to just go for a heal. Alright, let's see. They're still blighted, which is good. Uh, let's go ahead and... There's only one remaining use on the blinding gas, so let's see. Can we... She's got 25% chance to resist, so we'll try and hit her again. Nice. We want to try to keep all of our stress... Um, enemies that can do stress away, or uh, down as much as possible. Uh, we can't bleed him out. But we can still hit for seven. Nice. Oh, it is bleeding. Wow. That's weird. Usually you can't bleed the ghosts. The snow okay. death. She died from blight. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Uh, stunning blow. Bulwark. Nope. We're just going to go straight out for... Yeah, we're going to do Zealous Accusation. Try to clear out that body too. There you go. Let's use Dazzling. Takes two damage. Should die on its next turn. English horrors brought low and driven into the mud. So we don't need our shovel, so we're going to take the journal page instead. Yay, hooray! And we'll go ahead and be clear of this. And that was our last room, so we have the option of either returning to the hamlet or continuing our adventure. But since two of our people have horror on them, we're going to go ahead and return to the hamlet. And you can only acquire your... More your... bones return to rest. Devils remanded to their abyss. I love the dialogue in this game. Um... Yeah, okay, got it. Um... I forgot, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got. Anybody got anything? Invex, let's see what you got. Shocker. <laughs> Minus 10% stun resist. Well, that's not good, especially since one of your abilities is a stun ability. The tents are pitched, banners fly, and the corpse wagons stand at the ready. The circus has come to town. So this is the newest DLC that they kicked out. Um, a traveling circus has arrived on the outskirts of town, bringing with them all manner of crude sport. Enter the ring this week to relieve 10 stress from all heroes. Eh, we're good. 10 stress is not uh, is not worth it. So the tavern is now unlocked, and the abbey is now unlocked. The town and the tavern, or the, the tavern and the abbey are two places. The, the tavern you can go to relieve stress, the abbey you can go to relieve stress. Um, the cobwebs have been dusted, the pews set straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. So, you can either go to the Cloister, the Transept, or the Penance Hall. So, Flagellation, um, right now the Caretaker is currently enjoying that activity. Uh, okay. But, um, you can open up three rooms per, per the Cloister, Transept, and the Penance Hall to put your people in, so that way they can de-stress, basically. Um, some people, they can only de-stress through debauchery. Some people can only de-stress through human nature abilities and some through uh, different things here at the church. So some of them, they're not allowed to do it. They'll say absolutely will not, you know, flagellate or something. And then of course you can still upgrade the different areas. You can upgrade the rooms, you can upgrade the percentages of which they, they, they heal the, the stress off of the individual. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. The brothel, pleasures of the flesh. So, 
hospital. And then gambling hall and bar. And then it takes the little the little pictures and the shields in order to upgrade this building. So, um, just because you finish the dungeon, it doesn't mean that everybody's de-stressed automatically. You have to come down and do things. Over time, if they're left in the town, um, they will lower their stress. But there are perks in there that can be like, hey, if they're just left in town, they're going to get bored and they're going to have more stress. So... The entire game has so many balancing features. Uh, it's it's not hard to keep track of them, but it is... It, it gets very almost unmanageable at some points. Right, compete in the ring. A traveling bacchanal. A debauched contest of survival. The butcher's circus is all these things. If I'm not mistaken, this is like a PvP arena. I don't, I don't remember. Do not be hasty in the assemblage of your contestants. Oh, no, no, no. Victory and defeat can be decided here. So these are all the base characters that you can get. We have some characters added to our roster that are not going to fit in this motif. So. Right, how do I leave? I want to leave. I have never engaged in, in the, the battles of the circus yet, so. That's going to be fun to try out at some point. Alright. Let's go ahead and... I think I might want to take Renald and go put him in the... Oh, I don't have access to the sanitarium yet. So the sanitarium is the one that um, heals your quirks and your, your perks. Or, or locks them in if you want them to. So we're going to go ahead and go on another quest. And now we have three three boss or three enemy rooms and then one exploring. Uh, short, 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 medium. We don't want to do medium yet. Our people are not ready for medium. But you can see that the rewards change um, depending on what you pick. So for this one, one of them is the maze rats. It's the Beastmaster only. Come on. There we go. Uh, the Leper, which we don't have yet. The Dazzling Charm, which is a common one for everybody. And what's this one? This is for the Jester? Yeah, Jester. Critical Dice. It gives him plus seven crit. Uh, we're not going to be doing a medium run yet. Our people are not high enough level in order to, to, to get through that right now. And uh, we're going to hold off on that one. Um, let's do a complete 100% of room battles. And that's for the leper. I don't really use the leper all that much. I might want to get this 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 common one that's plus 15% stun skill chance. So, um, I'm looking at everybody's stress levels right now. We should be good. Alright. Provisioning. So we'll take... One herbs. Got one each of those. Okay, we want to take... We'll take six torches this time. Take two of those. Eight food. Eh, we'll take eight torches. Um, two keys. And that should be good for now. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that's for the keeper. Plus 10% healing skills. This is for the occultist. We don't... Oh, you know what? Hang on. Go back. We have not checked the, uh... The stagecoach yet. There we go. What is this? I don't know what he is. But this is the Paracausalist. He's the Ghostbuster. I'm saying Seeker Crusader. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. Miznaj. Oh, he's got the Moonlight Greatsword. Okay, that's why. Nice. I forgot. I have a Bloodborne pack skin. Or a Bloodborne skin pack added to this as well. So. Uh but now we've got the Paracausalist, which is a Ghostbuster. He's kind of cool. 
You know what? We'll go ahead and make that. We'll give that one to Brian. Brian can be our Ghostbuster. And as Naj can be. Hmm. Take that. There we go. Now, we can go back to embark on our trip. forgot those as well. And what else are we missing? We're missing two keys. Alright, now we can embark. Yep, yeah, yes, okay. Hurry up and get home, Brian, so we can play zombies. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to be in Ooh, than scouting the seat chance. of our noble line. Nice. Okay, so we can see that there is a curio up ahead. Yeah. I mean, I love the vibes. The no eyes weird you out. Ted, yeah, oddly, you love it. The no eye oh, the no eyes on the characters? Yeah. It's just, just, they're shadows. They're shadows covering their eyes. That's all it is. Not that they don't have eyes. And let's see. So we have a curio, we have a trap, and then we have a battle. And then this is a boss battle with treasure. So let's go ahead and start making our way downtown. Walking fast. fast. Oh, they're books. Leave the books alone. But we do know that there is a trap here. So. What is your detect... Your trap detection? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Trap, you got 50%. 60% to disarm, 90% to disarm, 60%, 70. So we're going to have our 90% dude come up and come on. Disarmed. Hell yeah. Here we go. Damn ghosts. They did get surprised, which is good. Um, we are going to want to stun. It's got an 80% to stun, 80%, 80%. We want to blight them. I guess. Let's blight him out. Come on. Ah! Resist. Um, pistol shot has a 77% chance to hit 5 to 9 damage. Or you can do Grape Shot Blast, which does 2 to 4 on everybody. And that's at 67%. So we're going to want to do this, at least. There you go. Um, Dazzling light if we can. The stun chance is 80 still. 80, 80. We're, we're gonna we're gonna try for it. Resist. Alright. Zealous accusation. It's got 70 and 80. 79 and 80 percent chance to hit. Or oh, we got 79 and 80 percent chance to hit here. We'll do this one. Nice. Gave that one Aegis. Unmoved. Ooh. Bad crit. Alright, let's try to plague him again. Or blight him. Sorry, not plague. Alright, so he'll die on his next turn. So we don't need to worry about him. Four damage per round, so we're good. Uh, we'll go ahead and heal up. Wow, that was super delayed. I said that like four minutes ago. Um, I want to open vein on him. Resist, of course. Backs, but it was fucking not much strong. Oh. There you go, he's dead. That's blocked. That took away from it. That was good. Okay, it's okay. Um, 
Nobody can get stunned out, really. But we need to do... Ugh. Do another play grenade. Damn. No, no horror. Okay, nice. Try again. Resist. Heal Dismas. I never change the names of the first two people that I get, and it's always Renault and Dismas. Zealous Accusation. Let's do, uh... Let's embolden... Renault. And let's see, can we... He's got one hit point, you got five. Damn! Nothing! Sometimes the battles just cannot go in your favor. Nice, good resist, good resist. Alright, he's dead. Give them no I didn't even realize that there was an ectomorph for Bresh. Get rid of those two. Nice. Good hit, good hit. Try to stun him out. Got rid of the body. And here we go. Now, can we hit you? Oh, you you need to hit him for one hit point. Thank you. the fiend falls... Faint hope blossoms. Shit can go south real fast in this game. So, back to our map, and we'll continue on. Now, this will be a boss fight. Or a, a room battle. Rinald is pretty up there on, on damage, or on, uh, on stress. Alright, Grape Shot Blast. It might miss everybody, but it's they're very low hit points on these guys. There you go, five, five, three. That's good. Uh, can we do plague grenades? Because they can do. Yeah, blight is good for these guys. Of course, it misses. She's blighted. Oh, she resisted. Nice. Uh, zealous accusation. Back Get rid of two of them. Pit. Wait until we get the Hellion. The Hellion is one of my favorite characters to play as. Uh, we're gonna heal. Let's see, you are at... You need five. You need six. Okay, so we give you four. That's good. Um, I could stun this one out. Stun, stun, stun. Nice. Cool, so blocked his attack. Let's do it. Oh, we're going to be able to heal a little bit, so let's heal up. And let's see if Zealous Accusation will... Nope. Disorienting Blast. Uh, yep. 80%. Come on. Reshuffled him. Grape shot blast. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. All right, let's see what these journal pages are. The engine two of three. Research notes: paracausal countermeasures field test. The apparition appears to phase from one location to another every nine hours and thirteen minutes. It has always reappeared within the manor undercroft, but there is no guarantee it won't eventually emerge in other areas. I am preparing to test its nucleoprotonic response to the engine's particle thrower. The remainder of the page is heavily scorched and utterly illegible. Day one. Rare are travelers on this road this autumn, and rather than starve, I pressed my last coin into the hand of one who dealt in rumors and shadows. Ravens carried cryptic notes that there was a person, or persons, who was pledging coin for services best left unmentioned. Hamlet I have never heard of. I am packing to leave immediately. Those of a highwayman. All right. Let's go ahead and use a key on this 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 little bugger. Oh, and also after you use an item on the chest, or on, on whatever curio it's supposed to be, 
um, and it actually does work on it, there will be a little, um, as I'm highlighting the key, there's a little gold gold symbol, like money symbol, which means you are going to get extra stuff out of it, so use it. Alright, so we got more crests, money, and some emeralds. We'll take all of that. Okay. Valley Forth. Alright, this is what we need to use the, the herb station, herbs on. But we will go ahead. I'm gonna switch to you. No, I'm gonna switch to you. Click on this, and we will use the successful research. It gave us money and citrine. Nice. As it gets darker. All right, let's go ahead and torch up real quick. The match is struck. So our A monsters. blazing star is born. Let's see if we can surprise him. Nope, they did not get surprised. She's gonna get pulled in the front. Nope, she resisted. Nice. Alright, um, we're gonna want to blight the ghosts. So this is gonna hit both of them, yes? Yes, this is gonna hit both of them. Oh, she resisted. Damn. Can we do a point blank shot on her? Yes, for seven damage. Uh, Dazzling Light, we should be able to... We can't really stun these guys. We can stun him. He does bleed, so we want to keep him at bay as well. Okay. Negate his attack. Good dodge. Good dodge. Let's go ahead and do a stunning blow on... It's got 75% chance to, to block, which means we'd only have 10% to hit. Let's go ahead and start getting it out of the way. There we go. Good hit. Um, let's try to blight her again. Oh, she got stunned. I'm sorry. Um, grape shot blast. Okay, she wasn't able to do her stuff. That's good. No, 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 no. Ah. All right, so we're going to use Zealous Accusation so it'll immediately clear that out, but it'll still hit the other enemy as well. There you go. Um, let's go ahead and heal. Miss, miss, miss. Damn. No! Okay. Grape shot blast everybody. There we go. Two of them down. We'll go ahead and... Nope, we can't blight them. We're going to go ahead and embolden. Let's see if we can do it. Nice. Nightmarish creatures can be felt. Right. They can be beaten. So this is a holy fountain. We should be able to cure his stuff if we use this. Nope. Okay, well, we healed stress off of him, which is good. Oh, a scouting chance. Okay, so we know that we got two curios and a boss or a battle room up ahead, so. Move forward. Got Darkness Falls copying right now. Nice. Are you off this weekend? Like tonight, tomorrow? A handsome reward for a task well performed. Altar of Light. A small holy altar seems out of place against the backdrop of corruption. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and use this with 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 Reynald. Okay, cool. Yeah, Sunday is the start of your cycle. Okay, cool. Looks like we got some seven days here in a little while, guys. Whenever Brian gets back. Supplies! Alright, um, these guys can be bled- no, these guys can't bleed, but they can be blighted. Let's blight these. 
Oh, of course he'd dodge. Grape shot blast or no. Pistol shot. 73%. I'll take the eight damage. Uh, damn. Let's see if we can stun him out. Oh. This is not going to go that great. Oof. Not my heels. Come on, y'all. Who's the end? No good. What the fuck? What is going on? Alright. This is kind of ridiculous. Blade grenade. Come on, blight him. Nice! Alright, so he is dead this next round. Yeah, he's dead the next round, so I don't have to worry about him. Let's go ahead and hit you again. Okay, you're dead. Be gone, fiend. And you've got five hit points, so I need to do genie seals. Compassion is a rarity. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna try to stay awake because you're stubborn. Well, whatever you do, don't uh don't stay up just because, you know. I don't want you to harm yourself, like in terms of health-wise. All right, uh, you're already blighted. We don't need to worry about that. You're gonna die next turn. We need to focus our attention on him. So emboldening vapors, we're gonna do on him again. There we go. She needs to heal again. There's nothing else. Like she has to heal. She, we cannot have her taken out of the fight. Slowly, gently. This is how a life. Oh, is that's taken. right. He doesn't have his stun ability. All right. And we could just do grape shot. Nice. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Um, we're gonna go ahead and continue adventuring, and the only reason why I say that is so we can read this last journal page that we got. Blood-soaked pages torn from a journal, five of six. The others are gone. They were victims of a malevolent transformation. Their scales had rotted to soft, vulnerable flesh, slowly suffocating without gills. The worst was that their eyes, close-set and forced to squint through fleshy slits, shudder recalling the horrific and unclean warmth of their blood as I rinsed my talons. And nearly wretched. A death grant them software. Alright. Let's look at our map real quick. Let's see what we got on our scouting. Alright, so. We got some curios that we could hit. And we have no oh we have a battle up here, so we don't need to worry about that. So let's go this way real quick. That contains loot. Nice. This is another journal entry. Journal of Darius Highwayman, three of six. Day six. As we traveled from the hamlet, an eerie dread grew. We all felt it, but did our best to shrug it off. Sleep was difficult until Raven, one of my companions, cast me a bitter concoction. The most devout of us, Therian, prayed softly for our safety. Superstitious, but well-intentioned, I suppose. I am already falling asleep. Oh, you're about to get gutted, dude. Don't do it. Um, we do need to make sure that we take these pages back, because otherwise they won't count in our laundry list of shit that we found, that, uh, or else they'll just keep popping up. This one. Let's go see what this other curio is. Okay, let's see. Um, can we use a shovel on it? Yeah. Defiles the dead? Uh-oh. Guilty conscience! Oh no! Where is Guilty Conscience? It bears the crushing guilt of deeds real and imagined. Uh-oh. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and go. Worst case you fall asleep, not a surprise for you when it's after 2 a.m. Yeah. Devils remanded to their abyss. I thought you were only one hour ahead. Wouldn't it be only just after one? Oh, after 2 a.m. hits there. Okay. 
go. Let's see what we get. Cave phobe, so he doesn't want to go into the cove. Armor piercing, nice. Skittish, plus 10% chance party surprised. Oh good. Faded, chance to turn any miss into a hit. Nice. And sickly, minus 10% disease resist and plus two crit. Though long years may seek to separate them, action and consequence will invariably have their dreadful reunion. All right, Port of Madness is now in, in now in play. Intolerable clouds of mosquitoes and other less identifiable pests continue to descend upon the hamlet with maddening persistence. Illness and irritation abound. Ugh. Yep, ancestors' memoirs. So now there's fucking mosquitoes time, here. You will know the tragic extent of my failings. All right, but now the blacksmith is available. The bellows blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. So here we can upgrade. Make no mistake. We will face ever greater threats. Our soldiers must be ready. So now we can buy skills at the guild, and we can buy weapons at... Upgrade our weapons and gear at the uh, blacksmith. So I'm probably going to start getting their abilities where I want them to. Um, all right, let's check the stagecoach and see as long as you're getting enough sleep. Yeah, absolutely. I, I concur. Beastmaster. I have not played with the Beastmaster. Wait. Yeah, I don't think I've played with him. The Bounty Hunter's cool. We're going to take him. The thrill of the hunt. The promise of payment. Yeah. Oily Seeker Beastmaster. Beastmaster. Embodiment of nature's primal savagery. Oh, yeah. He's a... He is a, uh, a DLC character as well. So we'll hold on to him for now. Um, let's see. Do we have access to the sanitarium yet? Nope. All right. Uh, stress relief. Stress relief. Renald's still good. He's got 140% left. Invex is good. Actually, hang on. I need to edit his name. Alright, um, let's go see if we can't upgrade some abilities real quick. Specifically for Renald, I want him to get... How much money do we have? 18 grand? We're good. We need... Uh, where is your... Yeah, okay, you do have Stunning Blow. I'm just dumb. Okay. Um, I want you to have... Battle Heal is for anybody on the battlefield... Holy Lance, you move forward one, but you would have to be in the back two slots. I don't want that. Inspiring Cry, heal one, press minus five, torch plus five. That really doesn't matter to me. Um, Bulwark of Faith is important. Stunning Blow is good, so he has everything that he needs. Hey. Dismiss. Uh, where is it? Point Blank Shot. I like Point Blank Shot and uh, Duelist's Advance. I'm going to purchase these. Um, Panda, she needs Divine Comfort because that can heal everybody in the party. Um, which I can get rid of your Mace Bash. 15 damage versus Unholy. Self plus 25 damage plus 6 accuracy. So we can drop that one. Um, Brian, Song of Storms. Nucleoprotonic Ray. Scanner Scope. Scanner Scope does minus t oh, debuffs and bypasses stealth. Or controlled burst, and you've got the Goliger Cage. Other heroes, you get a bunch of stress, but it shuffles one round, shuffle group. I haven't played too much with the Paracausalist, but uh, I, I need to start playing with him. Um, Invex, you're the one that we need to fix. All right, you've got the Plague Grenade. You got where is? Noxious Blast is the is the the blighted one for the front row. I want that. Um, Battlefield Medicine is important. It cures blight and bleed. I need that. 
Incision is if you get moved to the first three positions. But I think you're fine because Noxious Blast is in the last three. Play Grenade is in the last two. Battlefield Medicine is in the last two. And Emboldening Vapors. Yeah. That does Blight. That does Blight. Everybody else does stun damage. So I don't need your stun ability. Alright. Cool. So... Let's go ahead and... Yep, you're good. Bismus, we're going to take off your stuff real quick. And we're going to go with... Duelist's Advance. And then Open Vein, I believe... Wait, no. Point Blank Shot moves you back one. So you need to stay in the second slot so you can do Duelist Advance and hit them. And then you can immediately come turn and use Point Blank Shot backwards. Because this does damage against marked enemies. Um, and it gives you repost, so that's good. Which means you're probably going to be in first slot, in first position. No. Point, yeah, point blank, yeah, you're going to be in first position. Because that'll... No, you'll be in second position. Alright. And then you want to have Grape Shot Blast, just in case. And you're also going to want Open Vein, because you're Bleed. Yeah, you're going to want Open Vein. Okay. Those are your abilities. Brian, or not Brian, Dylan, will need Noxious Blast to hit the front two people. You're going to need Play Grenade to hit the back two. You don't need Stun. You need Battlefield Medicine, and you need Emboldening Vapors, because you're our buff dude. Alright. Panda is going to need Heal Party, Heal Self, Stun for Dazzling Lights, and yeah, we'll give you Mace Bash just in case. One, two, three, four. We're not going to worry about anybody else right now. Um, what about Survivalist? Nope, we don't have the Survivalist yet. The Survivalist allows us to choose our camping um, abilities, so when you go down into the dungeons, at certain spots you can use your, your camping uh, ability, and everybody has certain little perks that you can use to de-stress. Um, and it's also a chance to fully eat and heal all of your, your people. You see, you see, a bunch of stuff. We also have the Courtyard. The Courtyard of Madness. Um... A lot of blood. You're home early? Uh-oh. So, take the time that you need to take to get situated, and then I can put... Uh, Dylan, is your, is your download and everything good to go? We'll do one more map so you guys can get everything tweaked out and figured out, and then I can load in our map, and then we can... You're not ready yet? Okay, cool. That's fine. Just let us know whenever you're good to go, and then we'll, we'll we'll get started. However, I am going to open a Discord real quick, so that way if anybody wants to talk... I'll switch. Let's go into the streaming channel. So yeah, if you guys wanted to, you guys can pop into Discord. There you go. All right. What else we got going on? Nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do another scouting mission, maybe. Hang on. So this is a common... Oh, that's right. Hang on. Let's go with... We can open our little trinket chest. We can add one of our, our uh, plus 15% stun skill chance. Let's add that to... Since she only does, has one stun ability, let's give it to her. Because he, yeah. Invex, Panda. I want you in the front. I want you in the front row, or the second slot. Yeah, okay, everybody's good to go. Everybody's good to go. We're good. Um, this is plus 10 stun skill chance again, the stun stone. This is an exorcist only. Do I have the exorcist? Yeah, 
I'm gonna have to get the Exorcist. The Exorcist is really cool. Uh, this is for the Antiquarium. Plus 25% protection. Ooh. But that's a medium. I don't want to do a medium. I want to do another short. Yeah, we'll do another short. Okay. We're not going to go to the Courtyard of Madness, like, anytime soon. Not until we absolutely have to. Because the Courtyard of Madness is one huge fucking map. Alright, uh... Eight. Eight torches, two keys. Take one of these. Take two of those. That should be good for us. Uh, yeah, okay. I gotta have all right. So now that you guys kind of maybe hopefully get the gist of what this game is i'm gonna go less into the explaining until we get to things that we need to possibly explain oh, already getting stressed out a bunch of whiny bitches we're just gonna take that we don't need to torch up anytime soon Not surprised, that's okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and buff Dismas. And we're gonna do Duelist Advance on him, because that's also going to put Repost on. And what Repost is, is if he gets targeted, he can automatically, obviously, Repost. So. Back to the pit. Um, let's go ahead and try to stun him out. Yep, there we go. Stunned out, wasn't able to... Uh, um, that's stunning blow. Let's just do smite. Another abomination cleansed Easy. from our lands. Um, which to you? Long forgotten strongbox sits in the stone cold forest. Contents unknown. We're not going to waste a chest, uh, a key on this. That was the most animated nine damage you've ever seen. This game is fucking glorious, man. I absolutely love Darkest Dungeon. Oh, what's this? Oh, for the Wraith only. I don't think I have the Wraith as a downloadable character. I do have a perk on here, or not a perk, a uh, uh, a mod on here that adds a whole bunch of extra trinkets and stuff. So I'm gonna need to go through and add like all the different characters. Some of them I'm just like, eh, I really don't care. Moving on, Avante. Oh wait, hang on. We need to put everybody back in their spots so that way all of their stuff is. All right. When you come up to this, Even you need to use a shovel. Stone seems bent on preventing passage. If you get caught without a shovel, you're gonna have a lot of stress. All right. Um, let's go ahead and embolden him again. Hopefully that puts him faster than her. Nope. 17 stress, look at that. Alright, we're gonna... Re Forward advance, put bleed on her? No, but he does have repost. Uh, can we stun her out? Yeah, we stun her. There you go, there was that repost. Fuck yeah. But he, I think uh, he can only attack twice before his repose goes away and you have to put it back on. Which is when you want to use point blank shot to put you back in your previous spot. Um, zealous Accusation. I need to pay more attention to the, the percentages on hit. So point blank shot hits the first person in the first row. It'll put him back to his second spot so you can repost again if you need to. There you go. Executed with impunity. Now, emboldening vapors, I want to use... Uh, no, I think I want to... Hmm. Play grenade. There you go, hit that back row. And 
and she is going to heal everybody. Yeah. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Fuck yeah. And can we smite her? Press yep. disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Take all. Hell yeah. Why'd you say hold up? Is there a trap that you saw? Alright, everybody's back where they're supposed to be, so we're good for there. Which way are we going? Okay, so we got traps either way. We have a boss room up ahead, but we have a curio to the right. This is a room battle with a curio. This is a room battle with treasure. So either way, I'm going to want to hit both of these fucking rooms. I think I'm going to go up, over, and then down, and then back again. So let's go to the right first. See what this curio is. Treasure. Nice. Take all. Now we start backing up again. Click on the goddamn door, please. There we go. Now we go up. And then we're gonna hit this treasure first. It should be better loot anyways. Yep, very good loot, very good loot. And then before we get inside this door, we're gonna torch up. Cause... And now, the darkness holds dominion. Black as death. So now you can see our torch is completely snuffed. We have the most amount of stress, the most amount of monster accuracy and damage, the most amount of monster criticals, and the most that the heroes will be surprised. But our crits and our loot are at max. So that's the trade off. The light, the promise of safety. I love this fucking game. Okay, they got surprised. That's good. So he's going to do Duelist Advance. Right. She is going to try to stun her out. In this Radiance, may we find Plague. victory. Wait a minute. Where is... There you go. Blight, Blight, Blight. Nice. So she's only got four hit points left. She's dead next turn. Try to get rid of 10, 15, 10. Another there you go. One Rid of him. He's still going to be able to attack. But... We've got the riposte on him, and then we'll do point blank shot, and then we should be good. And he's bleeding, so. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. So we can either, let's see, he's one damage per round for two rounds. So he'll either take two damage or we can hang out, we can bandage him or we can just hold off on it. So I think I'm just going to hold off on it and let him bleed. You cannot heal outside of battle unless you eat food. And I'm not going to use our food unless it's a, it's a, heal, uh, a food check. Let's go ahead and use the key. What do we got? We have Beastmaster only, Ferocious Friends. Plus 30% bleed skill chance, plus 30% healing when eating, plus 100% food consumed. So that's, eh, that's okay. I don't have enough room in my inventory, I need to make room. So let's go ahead and... The shields are important, we need these in order to upgrade things. So, I don't have the Wraith. It's plus 2 speed, minus 10 max HP. I'm not familiar with the Wraith. But, it is... It's a common... So it's something that's probably going to pop up again. So let's go ahead and pop that. What do we got? We got a trap and then just a regular room. Oh. The trap. This is how Hell yeah. Sometimes, even if somebody doesn't have the greatest... Uh, Trap disarm. I'll have them try to disarm the trap just to see if they'll 
reduce their stress. I want to see what that curio is. I mean, I could go there. But we're going to go ahead and see what's up. No? Hell yeah. And we'll torch up again. Oh, simple. Nice. Um, let's go ahead and light him. Ah. Coolest advance. That's up his repost. Um, we're going to go ahead and just heal everybody. See if we can't get rid of one of these. 80, 80. 1%, but whatever. Don't go after him. Go after Dismas. Point blank shot. Be gone, fiend. Be gone, demon. Uh, let's do... Oh, I never used emboldening vapors on him. That's why. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Get rid of the bodies. I should have gotten rid of them, but we'll heal everybody again. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Good job. Good dodge. Um. Open vein. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay. And I believe on this, we just want. Okay, that, uh... <laughs> what if I just touch... What if I just touch it? Okay. Whatever. Alright, back up. We've already investigated, so we're gonna get some stress. Lots of food, lots of money. There we go. And then, depending, if we get a scout chance, we'll check out what this next room is. Hunger check. Come on, scout chance, scout chance. Nice. It's a room battle with treasure. I think we're going to advance. We do have an obstacle in the way, that's fine. It'll free up some inventory space. Maybe not. Now. We're going to fight the boss battle fully torched. The match is and then we're going to take off our torch after we're done born. with the... With the boss or with the battle, and then we will open the treasure. So we'll see what's up. Good, they were surprised. That's good. So we're gonna go ahead and do duelist advance. Set up his repost. We're going to embolden him. Uh, see if we can't stun him out. Struck. Nice. And let's try to get rid of this gentleman. Oh, just eight, but that's okay. Now that got rid of one of his attacks, but he will still attack during his normal turn. Here we go. He's dead. Confidence surges the as the enemy crumbles. He'll get reposted. Uh, let's go ahead and do point blank shot to set us back to the second spot. Um, 
Play a grenade in the back. Hopefully that hits. Nope. Stressed. 15 stress. Ooh, he's close. Alright, um... Heal up. That was a good heal. That was a good heal. Let's see if this will hit. Yep. Grape shot blast. Nice. We don't have to worry about stress anymore. Unless it's a crit hit. Um, let's go ahead and... Eh, we'll just heal. A momentary abatement. Yep, let's heal again. Uh, let's heal the party, though. Good crit. Um, clear the bodies. That way he comes back in a range. We will set up his duelist advance. And can we do Noxious Blast? Yes. We'll get Blighted. There you go. He's got six hit points. He should die next turn, but we'll see. A momentary abatement. Oh. He's dead now. Alright. Okay. Remind uh, yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Alright, Onyx is 500 gold apiece. We want to get rid of this torch. Well, hang on. We'll take this for in place of the torch. We'll take this in place of the... In place of the herbs. Okay, we'll close that out. We're going to snuff our torch. Hang on. Shift click to reduce torch. Oh, wait, Contr shift control click. Okay. Darkness closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Um, I was enjoying him until I walked out there and he had chewed up, like, the entire bottom section of all of my fucking blinds. Oh, thanks, Brian. There you go. Those are some big treasures. Loot are often low on supplies. Let's get rid of shovel and take the deeds. Okay. And now we will complete the quest. Next. Look at all that. Collected treasure. 5,940. Plus all this. Collected heirlooms. Those are good. We got... 12 shields, 4 deeds, 1 portrait, 8 sculptures. Let's see what we got. Weak knees. Minus 20% move resist if HP below 50%. Okay. Stalker. Plus 10% chance monster surprised. Good. Ear of Eldritch. Plus 15 stress if any Eldritch monster alive. Minus 10% AC if versus Eldritch. Minus 20% healing skills. Well, that's fine because he doesn't have healing skills. She has paid dearly for her freedom. And deserves better than this place. So, so for Dylan, um, go to your Steam and at the top under your library, I believe there's this option on there that uh, it says, uh, add non-Steam game. And then you're gonna search for where your seven days to die mod launcher is. Yeah, add non-Steam game. And then you have to search for your seven days to die mod launcher. Uh, click on that, and it should add it to your library. And then when it does, you just click on that to launch it from Steam. And then that will give you access to your, your friends list. Ooh, we got the Shield Breaker. The Shield Breaker's cool. That gives us our, our little side quests, too. Shifting. Swaying. She mesmerizes her prey before the final strike. All right. Cool. We're gonna go ahead and rename this one. Happy Panda 83. There you go. Alright, what else we got? We now have access to the sanitarium. Good. 
You're not going to say anything? Alright. But first thing we're going to do is take Renald and get rid of tetanus. Uh, treat diseases, humors, and other physical maladies. Treat quirks and other problematic behaviors. So, Renald, you're going in there. Yep. Tetanus. 750 monies. Smells like a gong farmer. Okay. Alright. So, I don't know why, but this game makes me want to play Mountain Blade. I don't know that game. So, Dylan, you're pretty much... You're good to go? Oh, we have survivalists now, too. At home in wild places... She is a stalwart survivor, and a strict instructor. Alright. This gives us access to have a uh, reduced cost of training of the camping skills. Reduced cost of camping skills in general. Uh, yeah, adding it to Steam right now, then I'm going to restart your PC because it's doing some weird things. Okay. Well then, you do that. Um, I believe we got another trinket, so let's go ahead and see if Dismas can equip one. Plus 10% stun skill chance. We don't need that. We need that on... We're gonna need that on somebody else. Well, you know what? We'll put it on, we'll put it on Panda for now. Medieval game where you can control armies over 200 men, travel lands, and slaughter people in massive combat. Game's legit as fuck. And this reminded you of it? <laughs> so yeah, tuckered out. One of our abilities up here. Uh, there's a little skull emblem next to it. That means it's locked in there. Um, if you end up filling out your entire list, um, whatever, it, list kind of starts back from the top and then starts knocking out some of these, some of these other ones, unless they're hard locked in there. So if you got some skills on certain characters that you absolutely think that you're going to want, you're going to want to lock that in as fast as possible. Or get it the fuck out of there. Alright, get out of there. Can we upgrade some of our gear? Dismas needs to be upgraded, I think. But I think we're going to use some stuff to... Do we have enough here? We have eight. Eight shields, eight... Yep, okay, so we can upgrade twice. Let's do with use cost. I don't really care about cost at the front. I want to allow the upgrade. Fan the flames, mold the metal. We are raising an army. Like the inventory, the way you can change your party, upgrading. Ah, oh, okay, okay. There you go. So now, I'm going to start upgrading our people. Damage base is 5 to 8. Crit base is 3. Speed base is 7. Panda needs to be upgraded. No? Several. I want to. I really want to play with the Salamander. Salamander favors her prosthetic limbs in combat, making good use of her myriad of gadgets to cut down any in her path. Her chest plate is no mere armor, but grafted to her flesh itself, offering her defense beyond those of ordinary... Alright, well, <sighs> I think that's going to do it on this game for now. Oh, wait, hang on, what's this? Uh, yeah, we're, that's going to do it for this game for now. Um, we'll give Dylan his time to, to restart his computer, and I'll drop the stream, and then I'll bring it back up when I have seven days to die loaded, and we will go ahead and get Brian and Dylan in here. So... Everybody that hung out and watched, thanks for, for coming and, and swinging by and hanging out. And we will go ahead and see you all either here very soon or maybe tomorrow or next time. So we'll see you all later. Bye.